Smart Selection is a new type of selection filter that has been added to the component thickness form. Smart Selection allows us to create model selection recipes based upon uh, either the colour, the level or the model name within the PowerMill project. An example of Smart Selection would be to machine all surfaces which are red and on level 15. Another example would be to collision check with a thickness of 5 millimeters all surfaces in the model called clamps. The big benefit of Smart Selection is that the information, the Smart Selection information is stored with the toolpath template. This means that if we use the same color convention and model naming convention and level naming convention on all our parts when we read in a new part the toolpath template will automatically set up the component thicknesses used in the smart selection. Let's open an example project and have a look how we use smart selection. Here we have our aerostructure part and you can see we've set up the part using multiple colours and we've also got a series of clamps around the outside of the part. Now those clamps are stored on a separate level called clamps and we've got a pre-created roughing toolpath that has been batched and ready to calculate. I'm going to go into this toolpath, into the settings and we're going to set up the component thickness using smart selection. So we're going to go into Component Thickness Form and there we can see a new button called Smart Selection. So we select our component set as previous, uh, set whether we want to collision, ignore or machine. In this case I'm going to set it to collision and I'm going to add an th extra thickness of 5mm. The reason for this is I want to collision check the clamps and I want the tool to stay well away from those clamps. So now we're going to go into the Smart Selection and I want to select by level and the level is called Clamps and we're going to move that across into our Selection Filter and you can see the clamps have been highlighted indicating those are now selected. So I'm going to apply that and then I'm going to go to the second component set. I'm going to leave this set to Machining but I'm going to add an extra one millimeter on top of the default 0.5 of a millimeter and this time I want to leave that extra one millimeter on all the flat surfaces at the base of the pockets so all the orange surfaces so back into our smart selection filter and this time we're going to select by color and we're going to select the color orange and move that across and there you can see all those flat bases have been highlighted. So we're going to apply that and close. So that's um, the component thickness is already set up using Smart Selection. So we're going to accept that and calculate the toolpath. So there's the toolpath calculated. And if we just take a look from above and we zoom in and I attach the tool somewhere here we can see the 5, five mm clearance we've put around the clamps and if I zoom in here and select the bottom pass on the pocket and go to my view pick Z heights you can see that is at 1.5 millimeters. As mentioned previously the big advantage of using smart selection is that the information, the smart selection information is stored with the toolpath template. Okay, so let's save out this, this roughing template. So I'm going to save into the same directory as the project. So I'm going to call it Aero Structure Roughing. And if we now delete all, so get rid of everything we've created and load in a different model this time. So we're going to import a model. Again, we're going to import the model from the same directory. So 
So it's a similar type of part, it's an aerostructure part with thin wall sections, but it's obviously a completely different shape. And we have our green clamps around the outside. This time we only have four clamps on either uh, two on either end. And also the bases of the pockets are colored orange as previously. So we've used the same convention for surface colors and uh, for level structure. So we have our level called clamps again. So I switch off the clamps for a second and we're just going to set up our block. So we're going to calculate the block, accept. I'm just going to reset my safe working height, safe Z heights. And now I'm going to load in the template I saved earlier. If I go back into the component thickness now, you can see that it has automatically inherited the smart selection. So just to double check that, if we highlight the collision uh, thickness set 1 and go to smart selection, you can see it's set to clamps. So all the clamps have been selected. And for component set number 2, the selection filter is set to dark orange. So all the flat bases have been selected. So if we go ahead and calculate that now, So let's cancel that and have a look at the tool path a bit closely. Let's attach the tool. So there we have the 5mm clearance again. And the base of these pockets is at Z12.5. We can see that from the readout in the bottom left corner. And if I select the last pass on that pocket, it's at Z14 which is the 12.5 plus the 1.5 thickness. So to summarize, Smart Selection allows us to store model selection recipes that are saved with the toolpath template which can be used on every part we import, thus automating the uh, machining process.